All right, thank you all. Uh, I'm here to give you a quick report from ECC 2017. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait a second, isn't ECC 2017 in November? In fact, if you didn't go out to the break, you saw an advertisement for it in Nymogen in the middle of November. But that's not the ECC I'm talking about. I'm talking about the other ECC, the Ecliptic Curve Cryptography Conference, which was held yesterday, okay? Uh, here were some fast facts. Our venue for ECC was Smith's Ferry, Idaho, a town of maybe 200 people. Uh, in particular, this grassy field about 100 meters north of the center line was uh, where we were parked, along with a whole bunch of other people having unaffiliated co-located events that just randomly happened to pick the same field. Um, accommodations for the conference were held in Donnelly, Idaho, about 30 miles north in this structure which managed to hold everybody who was attending the conference. Um, and that drive was not bad uh, because we were going away from Boise after the event. Uh, here's the program committee for ECC 2017. Uh, that's also everybody who submitted, so our acceptance rate was 100%, okay? Uh, but what you really want to know is what are the results, right? That's the important thing. So uh, here's some partial results, okay? <laughs> Uh, you know, there's the sun and some nice sunspots and the moon coming in. And I understand that many of you got to exhibit or experience some of the partial results yesterday and outside. And thank you, Steve, for making sure that was available safely to view. But the partial results are partial. What we really want are the total results, right? So there's a total result. That's the diamond ring moment at C2 at, for, at second contact when the moon just is hitting the sun or you know, covering the sun. Uh, here is a better shot at totality where you can see a small solar prominence up there. Uh, this was a relatively small exposure, um, all of these pictures taken by yours truly. Um, and so you can see these sort of the first inner, you know, the, the brighter parts of the corona here. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't come up too well under the lights, but you get a little bit of a, you go backward. That's all right. The, well, if we can down the lights. Um, along here, you'll see a little bit of what are called Bailey's beads, which is where the lunar limb lets a little bit of sun through and you get these little red dots, but you can't kind of see it here. So there's full. Here's a longer exposure that shows you more of the wisps of the corona. Uh, we actually got some nice uh, sort of butterfly shape here. And then I got C3 here, which is the last minute when we get the diamond ring on the other side as the moon starts to slide off. Uh, so there you go. Now we're starting to plan for the next ECC. Uh, we're leaning toward Chile or Argentina in 2019 or 2020. Maybe we could do it in association with the IACR, because after all, our logos really fit well together. <laughs> there you go. Thank you.